and welcome back to the mask delivery. We are going to be giving away or er, talking to people with this mask on. Yeah, I can't even see my own face through it. Well, let's begin with the Kokiri. Where, where should I start? Uh, I guess I could talk to this guy first. I see. You're going to scare Mito with that mask, aren't you? Whoa! Are you some kind of forest ghost? Maybe. What a weird face! Speaking of weird faces, one of the forest kids was complaining about his face. Right on! Wearing this mask makes me feel really tough and scary. Hee <laughs> hee! Rock on, dude. <laughs> he seems happy to see me in a similar mask. This is a very weird looking mask. Uh, hey, Saria? 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 Talk to me. Hey, that looks familiar. I think I saw something like it in the Lost Woods, no? Yeah, the Skull Kids are wearing the, this mask. I distribute masks to those who don't have one. The best part about talking to Gorons with this mask is that I only have to talk to two of them. Hey dude. Do you like my mask? Whoa! My heart! Started to beat so fast! Oh, wow. I don't think I noticed these Goron paintings on the wall. Is that a Dodongo painting there? Oh, dude, is that a painting of the King Dodongo that I killed earlier? Oh, man, that... Yep, it must be, since it's breathing fire. You're making me mad! Oh, jeez. Better run before he hulks out. Arrgh! Oh, wait. I don't need to run, because I can warp. But where to? Uh, I guess I'll go to Zoro's domain. This is a very odd image here. Hearing the serenade of water being played by that face. You could probably green screen um, anything into that background where I had absolutely nothing behind me. Seriously, you could do something as crazy as that, and if someone actually does do that, I will be- No! No! No, Owl, I do not want to talk to you. Why do you lock on from so far away? Jeez, that is weird. But anyway, as I was saying, it would be really hilarious if somebody were to do that. And it doesn't matter to me what you put in there, just so long as it's something really funny that would definitely make me laugh. Oh man, that would be hilarious. Ah, yes. Let's see. Very fine craftsmanship. But I don't think it would make a good ingredient for my medicine. Well... Hmm, I guess bones wouldn't make for a good, uh, ingredient for anything medicinal, anyway. No oh, crud, pea hats. You'll never cake me alive. Wait, what? They'll never cake me alive. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what do you have to say? Quit pestering me! Go away! Okay, well at least it wasn't that rude of a thing to say this time, so let's... Oh crud! What? Ah! Oh, come on, seriously? I was hoping I would hit my face faceplant right into the ground. If I run into the running man, I'll play the song of sun and moon and oh speaking of which the sun song that's why i meant to say it. at first i was about to say the song of time 
but that would be completely wrong. Uh, I was kind of hoping that this mask would prevent the style childs from appearing, and wow, he's still hoofing it. How far does he go before he stops for the night? Oh, crud. The knight is still young, and I can catch up to him. Ha ha ha! You really like those things, don't you? Well, I guess I do. Why does he wear the bunny hood like that? I mean, seriously. The uh, eyes of the bunny hood are covering his eyes. Unless he can see through them and he's wearing them like goggles. That's kind of weird, though. Considering I usually, when I wear it, the the ears are closer to the back of my head than what he has. But then again, that's probably diff just personal preference on how one wears a mask. Hey, Ingo. Scram, kid. Can't you see I'm busy? Okay. Uh, hey, Talon. How are you doing? That's a scary one, ain't it? Almost as scary as Zingo. I think that's what he said last time as well to the spooky mask. Unless this one's the scoop. Spooky mask. No, this one's the skull mask. Fitting considering I gave it to the skull kid. Oh, brother. Boys will be boys. <laughs> That actually sounds like something that actually sounds very realistic. <laughs> oh man, that is funny. <laughs> That's probably the most believable response I've gotten so far from these masks. Sup, Dompe? I'm on duty now. If you want me to dig, don't bother me. Okay. Hey, dude, wake up. I'm not afraid of any forest monsters. Are you trying to make fun of me? Well, then, that's a bit of foreshadowing towards his fate in the future. Considering he becomes one when he gets lost in the woods. At least that's what's implied. So, let's see. Let's switch it up to day and... Chat up the people of town. Ah, what a beautiful morning here in Kakariko Village. It feels like a home away from home. Oh, sorry, boss. I didn't mean to slack off. I'll get busy. Oh, that's not you. That's not you, boss? <laughs> he mistook a skull mask as something that looks like his boss? Jeez, that... That shows how much respect he has for his for his management. I'm sorry, I'm not really interested in that. Okay. Well, let's see what uh, uh, the person who's running around on the fence post has to say, or on top of this incomplete building. Just have to figure out a way up there. Oops. Alright, duh, that's how I got to that one gold sculpture. And probably how he got up here too. Why is he even running up here? Someday, when I have more skill, I'll carve a mask like that one. Sweet. Ah, hey! Dude! Where do you get out pushing the little kids off of precarious ledges. Huh? Jeez, the nerve of some people. Hmm! Get out of my face! You good for nothing! Dude, I'm just a kid wearing a mask. Jeez, no need to get all... Eh, all hostile on me. Okay, now for the man of the million windmills. A mask is just like a musical instrument. It reflects the character of its owner. I like your originality, kid. 
Why, thank you! I think. Hey, kid. How are you doing? That's not very different from Mr. Dompe, is it? Eh, not really. Well, actually, it's really different. I mean, Dompe's face doesn't look like a skull now, does it? Let alone one with, with horns sticking out. Okay, we're here to where the wild Zoros live. What do you say? What do you want? Hey, Princess, what do you have to say this time? You're a funny guy. Thank you, thank you very much. The crud is that doing here? Seriously, I thought... You have two beehives in the royal courtroom, or whatever this place is called? Three! Three beehives in here. Seriously? I guess I don't get bothered by bees all that much. Place I have to go... Ha! Wait, 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 There we go. Now, to cross this place. Yeah! Awesomely. Hello there, Mr. Bean Salesman. How do you like my skull mask? Not spooky mask, skull mask. I showed you that one last time. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Nope, it's not my style. <laughs> <laughs> That is funny, and what? The crud? Okay. Oh, don't do that! I'm shy. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee, don't pay any attention to that kid, my dear. Just pretend we're in our own private little world. Get a room, you two. Yeah, seriously. If you're gonna do that, at least do it somewhere private instead of out in the middle of town square. Hello, good sir. Yeah! Help me! Is there a mask competition going on? I'm gonna vote for you! I thank you, good sir. Your help is well appreciated. What a strange mask! Hee <laughs> ha! Oh well, that is it for the Skull Mask, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the Skull Mask. See you next time with the, uh... You know, let's, let's see what mask I have to go through next. What the? What mask is next? Ah, the Bunny Hood, okay. So, next time I'm gonna show off this one. See you then!